Catherine here. I'm just going to keep talking because you know what? I drank a little bit. I drank a little bit tonight. And part of the reason I drank a little bit is because let's just say I was woken up very early this morning while it was still dark out. I was woken up by some really strange and disturbing noises. So I kind of want to just drink until I pass out. And hope that if there's more weird and disturbing noises, I'm going to hope that I sleep through it. I mean, I might not. I probably won't anyway. But, you know, maybe I'll get back to sleep quicker. But anyway, so, yes, I have been drinking a little bit. And sometimes, you know, I do video clips when I'm sober. And sometimes I do it when I'm a little bit, you know, tipsy. But um, I just wanted to say that... um. On one hand, I'm lucky. On one hand, I was born in 1974, so the internet didn't really become a thing until the second half of the 90s. So I turned 20 in 1994, so it really wasn't until my like later 20s that the internet was really even a thing and i often think i'm really lucky for that because when i was a teenager i had you know a relationship with like a first love a boyfriend and i found out later in my life that I don't know, I guess he like talked about it to some people and I said some stuff about it to some people and I wrote some stuff. And so I found out later in my life that it was like blown up into this like, like huge sexual, like pornographic thing. And, you know, I often just think to myself, I'm so very lucky that when that relationship occurred in the late 80s, very early 90s the internet wasn't a thing like hidden cameras weren't a thing cell phones weren't a thing like there is no fucking footage of that shit but in some ways it's worse because i think people just like blew it up in their mind like <gasps> and it's like you know what you'll never know because there's no fucking footage of that shit and that's how it should be I feel so sorry for teenage girls today. Like, you should be able to just, like, be a teenager and be like, oh, I did something sexual, whatever. Within the moment, it's gone. Like, it shouldn't be, like, preserved for posterity. I'm posterity whatever, you know, preserved for the future generation on the internet. Like, it just shouldn't be. But anyway, yeah, so I had this first love, and it was like, did you hear, you know, she was like, really into this guy, and this and this and this happened, and it's like, you know what? You can't prove any of that shit. You don't have video of it. <laughs> you don't have pictures of it. But anyway, yeah, so a lot was made of that, and um, anyway, um... The other thing I want to say about that is, like I've often said with these video clips, I've been like, you know, I have enemies and they try to ruin everything. So like everything else, my enemies tried to ruin my memories of my first love. So yeah, you know, I had like bad memories of him, but I had good memories. And then like, there were a few times in the last like five years where it seemed like he was trying to get in touch with me and i think like some of that was legitimate like some of that was probably him but i think some of it wasn't like the last time someone tried to get in touch with me and say that they were him it was awful like it fucking it's like tainted my memory of him like i feel like they tried to make him out to be a white nationalist. I think they tried to make him out to be a fucking Nazi. 
like, you know, sometimes, you know, he would recommend different bands, different music to me, whatever, in the past. But all of a sudden, like, I got this recommendation for this band. And honestly, I think they were like a fucking Nazi white nationalist band. Like, you know, I looked up on the Internet and I'm like, you know, this just seems really weird, really off. So I looked this stuff up and it was like, you know, this is what I read on the Internet. They were like, this is one of those bands that... They don't call themselves a Nazi band. Like, they don't call themselves white nationalists. And the reason for that is because they want to sell tickets. Like, they want to have concerts and they want to sell tickets. And sometimes you can't do that if you're labeled as a white nationalist Nazi band. So, yeah, I think whoever it was that was claiming to be my first love, I think they fucking tried to like make this whole like white nationalist Nazi thing. And it's, you know, and another thing about that is at the time, I think I texted them something and I was like, it's just some like Nazi thing. And they were like, you're a Nazi's wet, wet dream. What? Because I'm of German descent, German and Irish descent. What? Because I had super blonde hair as a little girl because I have, I don't even have blue eyes. I have like green eyes, like green, gray, green, gray, blue, like mishmash eyes. Like they were like, you're a Nazi's wet dream. Like, who are you? Is your name Josh? Is that your name? Is your name Josh? Because I think there's a guy named Josh who's a fucking white nationalist Nazi. Fucking wannabe human trafficker sex slaver. Yeah, fucking guy named Josh. Like, fucking wannabe sex trafficker. Like, sex slaver. Like, Nazi white nationalist. Like, he doesn't have anything to do with my first love in my mind. So... Please don't ruin that, Josh. Like, please don't ruin that for me. But he kind of did a little bit. Like, he kind of did. Like, I feel like for the rest of my life, if someone texts me trying to pretend to be my first love, I'm going to be like, maybe it's that fucking Nazi white slaver named Josh, whom I fucking hate. He should be fucking castrated. He should have his fucking balls cut right off. Yeah. So yeah, I just wanted to say that. I just wanted to, you know, comment about first loves, the period of time before the internet, how some of us were blessed to not have the internet when we were teenagers. And yeah, that there's no fucking footage of certain things. There's just no fucking footage of it. None. None.